So far, I've talked to you about the great Piedmontese wines, red and white, but all dry. Now it's time to find out about a great sweet white wine, Moscato. Let's discover it together. The name Moscato probably comes from Latin muscus, which is an antique essence and it means perfumed, aromatic. Moscato is by definition an aromatic wine. There are different types of Moscato grapes in Italy. There's yellow Moscato, there's pink Moscato, but the specialty of Piemonte is the white Moscato of Canelli in the province of Asti. Although production extends beyond the province of Asti into the province of Alessandria and also into the province of Cuneo all the way to Neve, where it overlaps the Barbaresco wine production area. The grapes ripen between the end of August and beginning of September, so they're early uh, ripening grapes. And they take this beautiful golden color, sometimes even amber when they're kind of scorched by the sunshine. Uh, the bunch is medium size, very tight, skin is rather thick, and the pulp is very, very sweet. So they're very good to eat, they could be table grapes. But in Piemonte we use them for vinification, of two different wines, the sparkling, sweet sparkling Asti Spumante and the still sweet wine Moscato d'Asti. The vinification process consists of a partial fermentation and it's been known since the 17th century. What it means, in fact, is that we can begin the fermentation and let it go to a certain point where the juice develops about 5.5% alcohol but we still have more than 100 grams of sugar left in the juice. In order to keep it, then we refrigerate, we cool off the juice to minus two, minus three Celsius, and uh, we block the fermentation with a series of uh, filtrations. At this point, we can say that the Moscato wine is half fermented and it has more or less half alcohol and half residual sugar. Thanks to its low alcohol content, Moscato is considered a light wine. And according to the Piedmontese tradition, even children were allowed to taste the Moscato. Now, I'm not suggesting giving wine to children, but I do remember that for all of us in Piemonte, Moscato was the first wine that we happened to taste when we were children. But those were different times, of course. I poured it in this flat glass, uh, which is classic for Moscato. Nowadays, it is more difficult to find it, but I still consider it very elegant, beautiful. So the carbonic dioxide comes out very quickly in fine bubbles, and the wine is left clear with this beautiful golden color. Intensely aromatic, eh? honey-like, uh, like um, old flower honey. And then flowers, um, there's orange blossoms and jasmine, and very sweet fruit, very, very sugary fruit with intense uh, aroma, like uh, the, the, the golden delicious yellow apple, and the pears, and even uh, the apricots. Um, all of these, from, from flowery to fruity, very distinct, very characterized, very clearly recognizable as typical Moscato aroma. Well, it's like liquid honey, so intensely sweet with all the fruity aromas that we described before for the bouquet. Um, again, the golden delicious apple, the pear, but also the pineapple and the banana. Uh, so really intensely ripe, sugary summer fruit, but sustained by a very good acidity. And the balance between sweetness and acidity is absolutely essential for Moscato. If you don't have both of them, then you lose uh, balance. And if you don't have enough acidity, obviously Moscato becomes flat. So it, it loses its fragrance and its freshness, something that we enjoy at best when Moscato is very young. According to the Piedmontese tradition, Moscato is the wine for parties. In fact, we usually serve it at the end of the meal, um, at weddings, for example, with the cake. But this is not the only way to serve it. I suggest, for example, to try it also with salty uh, food. Um, why don't you try it with some seasoned cheese, for example, gorgonzola and pears? 
But also, if you want um, more contrast, you could, you could fix yourself some crackers with butter and anchovies. Then you really have a strong contrast between salty and sweet. And ultimately, you know, some friends of mine have recommended to try it as an aperitif. Serve it very cold before lunch or dinner. So as you can see, there are many different ways of serving Moscato, but they're all good. They're all good. They're all meant to really appreciate its uh, freshness. Moscato is the blonde jewel of Piemonte. We have so many great wines in Piemonte, but there is something unique about Moscato. Moscato is sensual, it's seductive, it's uh, joyful. Like we said, it's the wine for parties, so it brings joy. It, in, in one word, I would say Moscato is a fun wine.